The government of Ethiopia is constructing a multi-billion dollar project to alleviate the shortage of electricity across the country. Talking to ETV, Skora said realizing the flagship project remains to be a showcase for upper right ranked countries by capitalizing the sense of Pan-Africans. The success of GERD lifts the spirit of other African countries to construct mega projects like Ethiopia, and it brings down outdated foreign interventions against Ethiopia, the scholar Salamayo Areda and Umar Red indicated. The building of the dam itself has somehow lifted the spirit of the riparian countries, the African nations. You see, Ethiopia has taken a lead in this that Africans can do big projects like the GERD by themselves. You see, this, is, this is a big message to the African people. This is like Adwa, mind you. Now, this spirit will be better lifted up with a GERD feeling, with a GERD reaching a stage where it can produce some amount of about 375 megawatt of energy. This is a big boost in the spirit of Africans. And now, the Southern Sudan is, uh, is anticipating, contemplating building an electric dam, probably Uganda uh, and Rwanda. All this, this is their spirits are lifted up and they learn to stand together. That is, that is a big message the Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is giving to the African nation. It's telling to the rest of the Nile Basin countries that we can do it. Mm -hmm. Africa and Africans can do it on our own without uh, the, the need, uh, without a blessing from the West or for, for, from any Western institution. That's why the, there is a lot of pressure against Ethiopia uh, around the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam because it is, it, it, Ethiopia is setting a pre, uh, president uh, uh, that the rest of the Nile Basin countries would eventually follow, especially the upstream countries. Regarding complaints of the low ripe rank countries, the score has said GERD will bring various advantages as well as power integration for African countries. East Africa, mind you, it is benefiting, it is going to benefit from the supply of this electricity from the GERD. And power is a big economic base. It's a big power base. So, uh, it is also, the GERD is going also to serve as a regional integration instrument. Djibouti, Eritrea, Southern Sudan, probably the Sudan itself. Believe me, the Sudan will be benefit better than anybody, even Ethiopia. Because yeah, at the lower level, uh, they have their dam at 100 kilometers from the GERD. That dam is going to receive clean water, free of... Uh, yeah, so they are going to get electricity. They are going to, uh, to use it for irrigation as the river comes. And they are going to be saved from annual floods. There are fears from uh, uh, various corners, in various corners, that the, the example Ethiopia is setting would turn the entire Africa into um, you know that uh, self-dependent uh, path, and eventually those who have uh, huge interest on the continent of Africa, those who have been exploiting the entire continent of Africa for centuries, would lose this uh, dominance, and that's the the source of uh, the pressure against Ethiopia from multiple sides. Both the first and second water filling of good assured the rest of the world that Ethiopia has no intention to harm low ripe rank countries, Omer added. They have always uh, tried to portray this as a, as a dam, falsely as a dam that would stop the flow of the Nile waters into Egypt. Mm -hmm. the, the first round of filling happened, mm -hmm. nothing happened to a da downstream, so water uh, continued to flow and Ethiopia was proven right. Mm -hmm. uh, the second round of filling happened. The uh, water continued to flow uh, without any significant harm uh, to the downstream countries. Ethiopia is proven uh, right again. Uh, 
so when the Egyptians realized that um, uh, you know this propag they, this uh, scapegoat, this uh, issue that they are, they have used to externalize their their internal issues mm -hmm. is, is is just uh, um, a smoke screen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just no more there. It's not a reality. Uh, they knew it actually, but they continued to lie. Information obtained from the Ministry of Water, Irrigation and Electricity shows Ethiopia is ready to generate electric from two turbines in the coming months.